Okay, so hello and welcome back to Gumani's Coins and Banknotes and today we're looking at Zimbabwe's first coins. So, uh, under the name of Zimbabwe. Now these are not the first coins issued for the state. We had the previous Rhodesian coins issued from 1964 and before that we had Southern Rhodesia and Rhodesia Noesia land. So pretty much since the 1900s they've been using coins. Initially they were British coins but then they the because in the 1800s the, the British wanted the world to use their own coinage, but then they decided that uh, to s control a local economy would have been easier to issue local coins. Okay, so what we have is we have the one cent, five cent, ten cent, twenty cent, fifty cent, one dollar that were uh, issued in 1980. In 1997, they issued a two dollar. In 2001, they issued a five dollar because inflation had started to take up, and then in 2008, they issued a ten and twenty dollar. So these coins were issued in two different currencies. So the first currency, which they used, it once it was a five dollar. Then in oh, I think 2006, they issued a second currency. They didn't issue any coins or banknotes. And in 2008, they issued a third dollar, in which they issued, they remade these coins all legal tender again in 2008 for the third dollar. But they also issued the 10 and 20 dollar, but these are dated 2003. And the reason why they were never issued in 2003 is because hyperinflation took off at that time, and this denomination become pretty worthless. So it's, it's Really not a good idea to issue coins that are never going to be used because they're worthless. And I got these ones probably about 2008, 2009. So I've had them for about 17 years. No, 16, 17 years, something like that. So uh, that's basically the rundown of the history. So as for the metals, okay, the one cent was bronze from 1980 to 1988. from 1989 to 1999 it was played the steel, although it looks like copper played the steel to me. Uh, the five cent was always copper and nickel, minted from 1980 to 99. Uh, all the other coins from 1980 to uh, 99 and 97, depending on the denomination, they were copper and nickel. So this was minted from 1980 to 1999 in copper nickel. Then in 2001 to 2003, it was nickel played still. 1980, 97, then in copper nickel. Then 2001, 2003, nickel played still. The same with the one and two dollar, uh, oh, fifty cent one dollar, should I say? And also the two dollar. This was. 1997 issued in brass, though, in 2001 and 2000 to 2003 as brass plated steel. This coin was always issued in nickel plated steel center and brass ring, and these two are just nickel plated steel. Uh, and they are actually quite nice. If you wanted to get a whole bunch of these coins as a set, I think you'd be paying about $30. That's what I've seen them. These two are the most expensive. This one you'll probably be paying five to ten bucks. But these coins you'll probably get them like the one cent to one dollar for about ten dollars for the set in you know circulated condition. And that one's probably about five dollars each. So let's have a look at the individual coins. So the revert back of these coins, so oh, actually, no, the front of these coins has the Zimbabwe bird. You can find information on um, Wikipedia. It's uh, excavated from Great Zimbabwe, which is in southeastern Zimbabwe near Lake Mutiriki. I can't even pronounce that. Uh, and the town of Mosvingu. So you just look up Great Zimbabwe, you'll find it. And there's a few different carvings of birds I'm not too sure what bird it is it could be a battalion eagle or an african fishing eagle 
or it could be something else. We're not too sure uh, because they're stylized. So you're not, they just have basic features of an eagle, but we're not too sure. And a lot of these were taken to South Africa and then re later repatriated to uh, Zimbabwe. So as for the coins themselves, they all have that obverse. So if you look at the $5, so also has it. So this is a feature of uh, this coin series. And they're also on, uh, they're not on the uh, other coins that Zimbabwe issued. So that is uh, the 2014, so the $5, which just had the denomination and the date. And then we've got new coins, the Zig Dollar or Zig, Zimbabwe Gold. We've got one, two, and five Zig. Uh, also nickel plated steel. And one side is the image and the other side is just the Zimbabwe bird. Okay, now the one cent that we see here, so this one is, looks like a plated, no, no, this is a bronze coin, so it's a Zimbabwe coin, bird, and on this side we just have the denomination, so that's pretty boring as a coin itself. Oh, and the Zimbabwe bird is a soapstone, so it's a talc schist, a metamorphic rock. Um... So it has a lot of magnesium uh, in the actual talc. And that's all I'm going to say about the actual metamorphic rock. Okay, so now the five cent. The five cent has the scrub hair. So it has, they're related to rabbits. So a lot of people in Australia know rabbits. Uh, but they're more solitary and also a lot larger than rabbits. The ears are longer as well. So scrub hair, look up on Wikipedia, 95. Uh, another thing I didn't say is that the mintage figures, well, we're not too sure on the mintage figures. I think I need one cent, 1980s mintage figures, which is 10 million. The rest don't have it, uh, which is a bit sad because that's one way in which we determine the actual value of the coin. But basically... The other coins, we just have to determine by how common you find them on the market. Okay, now, the 10 cent has a boab tree, which Australia's boab tree is up north, and it's actually in a trunk. It's actually quite thick because it contains a lot of water. So it's a good tree in which retains a lot of water. And once again, on the front of the coin, we have the... Uh, the actual bird, which is the emblem. It's also the coat of arms, and it's on the flag. The 20 cent, we have the Birchenol Bridge on the Sabi River. So there's a bridge in Zimbabwe. Uh, now, I don't know if maintenance has been taken on. Pretty much corruption and hyperinflation has destroyed Zimbabwe's economy. It still functions, just basic food stuff and consumer goods. I don't think they have enough disposable income to uh, live like we do. Okay, so if 50 Cent doesn't have anything uh, that anyone would know, just a radiating sun um, representing independence. And this is probably, I would say this is probably uh, the hillside of, Zimbabwe, Great Zimbabwe, looks like it, and it's probably made out of granite or grano diorite because it looks like it has onion exfoliation. This one's dated 1990, so getting into uh, the last year of issue. Okay, so that's the 50 cent. Yeah. And... Okay, so the $1 has the main structure of Great Zimbabwe. I think this is the ceremonial structure, so it's the main one. Now, this is more like the Angkor Wat of Zimbabwe, so it has that importance. If you don't Angkor Wat in Cambodia, it's a 
complex of temples, but a lot of it is destroyed. Same with this one. So this one's the main one standing. If you look around, it has a lot of uh, other structures that have been ripped apart. Probably the stones have been reused for other type of structures. Okay, then we have the $2. First issue in 1997. And as you can see, it's a smaller coin, 24 millimeters, in which the $1 is 28.75 millimeters. And this has a pangolin. So not too sure what species it is, uh, but this coin is actually not that good. You can see pangolin. It has a lot of armor around it, so it's like a, a glyptodon. And they exist in Africa, many species, uh, India to Southeast Asia, as well as Indonesia. Okay, the $5 coin has a rhino. It looks like a two-horned rhino. And is a black rhino, Dicerus bicornis. So just all rhinos are threatened species. Uh, so they're not really adapted for the current uh, ecology in which they live in. So this is a pretty much, oh no, it's the only biometal that they issued first 2001. So this should be a fairly common coin. As you can see, saw quite a bit of circulation. It's also milled on the side. Then we have the ten dollar. So you can see the ten dollar and the twenty dollar. And these coins were only issued in the third Zimbabwe dollar. And it has a Cape Buffalo. And the twenty-five dollar just has a military monument. So these ones. I'm looking at it, probably about 30 bucks, one cent to five dollar. Yeah, I'm looking at news now. So, these I say these ones are for sale for about ten dollars. So, here we have a military monument with soldiers. So, that would have been uh, the Rhodesian War, the Buffalo. So, as you can see, nickel plated still doesn't really show up well on cameras so cape buffalo and here we have the coat of arms once again the, the ten dollars milled and the twenty dollars interrupted milling interestingly the new zig coins the ten dollar is similar to uh the two zig and the twenty five dollar is similar not the design talking about the actual planchets and the milling is similar to so the $25 similar to the Vive Zig. So they probably had, uh, I would say they probably had a lot of blanks that they just used. Although I'm not too sure who minted those coins. Maybe it's probably South Africa. They seem to be the country that's minting uh, coins lately. Okay, Looking at Numis, they says Zimbabwe mint. So they probably just would have used blanks. That I had left over from 2003. Uh, the 2006 2007 coins minted in South Africa. So Zimbabwe does have their own mint in which they do produce coins, probably more produce commemoratives or bullion, but I need to look those up. So this is basically the coin series from the first. So that's from the first, and then from the third Zimbabwe dollar. So I hope this helps you with your coins, coin collecting. Uh, this is just for fun, something of history. And, well, I'm going to do more coins. So I've got Tanzania, Czechoslovakia, Reunion, doing some pennies, I've got some silver. So, oh, Morocco as well. So stay tuned for other coins that I'm going to introduce you to and probably give you some Rough values, although they do change over time. Thank you and goodbye.